What's going on, everybody? Hopefully your week is starting off good. I believe this video is coming out on a Tuesday, but in today's video, we're going to talk about a new marketplace that says it's going to have lower costs. The article came out on Sports Collectors Daily by Rich Mueller uh, back on December 7th, so about four days ago. I've been really thinking about this whole topic about a lot of the marketplaces charging sports cards way too much money. First, let's talk about eBay. 12.9% on sports cards. It's just ridiculous. If you look at some of the other areas and the percentages that they take from um, different items being sold, we're getting crushed on sports cards. Just telling you. There's a difference between, I have to believe it was sports cards, stamps, and coins where they're actually a collectible, but they're lower in fees on to it. But... It's just insane, and I've been waiting for something to come along. We do have my slabs out there. My slabs, 1%, uh, both buyer and seller premium on Grady cards, and I believe it's 3% for raw. I don't really do raw cards on my slabs. So, there are a few others, other sites that people started that have not gained traction out there. I've been bouncing around looking at them to where a lot of people are saying 0% fees and all this stuff onto it. But some of them have been up for well over a year. Some have been up for, you know, six months. And they just don't have the traction. So it makes you wonder, what do you need to do to find a platform that's going to be successful and has lower fees onto it? If anybody could make something that would be similar to eBay and cut those prices in half, be golden out there for them. Speaking of golden, that's who this new marketplace is. So, Golden's parent company collectors are launching two new online marketplaces for sports cards, memorabilia, and other collectibles in 2023. So, you're going to have a new Golden Marketplace and weekly auction, which will be connected to the company's vault. Notice, connected to the company's vault. So, they're going to have those cards in hand for all sales to push out. All right, so with collectors able to offer items on either platform, so you could either say, I wanted to go to the weekly auction, I wanted to go to the other auction. I started looking at this because there was, I believe it was PSA or somebody pushed something out to me by email, and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> you know, and I looked at it, I'm like, well, let me look at it because if it's a really low fee and I'm not really paying much to have my cards vaulted until it's sold, I can understand because that vault is supposed to carry insurance and all kind of other stuff onto it. So let's look at this here. The marketplace will be designed for items valued at $100 and up. It's designed, okay? Not saying it has to be, but items can be offered for as low as $5. Sellers can list items for straight sale and also accept offers. Kind of nice, right? Almost, you know, like any other website. Weekly auctions will run for nine days and all closings on Thursday night. So we now know Thursday night's going to be weekly auction at night golden. Both markets are scheduled to open January 17th. I think we go live that maybe that night on Thursday, January 17th. And we'll maybe watch how these auctions and how the website corresponds. I'm going to plug it in. I think we might do that. The cost of selling on the marketplace will value based on the final price. And this is where it kind of got tricky onto it, all right? Items selling for under $2,500 will cost 16.7% seller fees. That's just insane. 16.7%. eBay's 12.9%. And then I go back up to the article title. New lower cost marketplace. <laughs> All right. Seller fees for higher priced items will be less. For the first month, however, sellers will pay 8.3% across the board. And I think this is where the catch is into the heading of the article, guys. 8.3% across the board, which is, you know, was that 4.6 lower than the regular eBay, unless you've been a, you know, a naughty person on eBay and you're at 15. Um, there are no fees for buyers. So now the seller, because if you guys remember a lot of times in these auction houses, sellers have to pay a final value fee and then there's a buyer's premium onto it. On this, no buyer's premium. So kind of looking at it here. Weekly auction items will typically consist of items valued 100 to 20,000, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, Golden will continue its monthly online elite auctions aimed at higher price material, which I actually think that's a really bad idea monthly. I think it should be quarterly. We're at a part of the stage with the hobby that people are flooding the high-end value auctions monthly. And with it, we're seeing a huge... It helps. It, I shouldn't say it helps. It hurts other cards out there, in there. So if they want to highlight something like the LeBron Triple Logo Man, but yet there's some other high-end cards out there, they're going to see a significant lower price onto it. And I know you start thinking about, well, they we got to get as much as we can out there as the business. We got to make money. We got to make money, blah, 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 blah. But by doing that, a lot of times you're hurting some other cards out there. It's being featured. I think there should be something like, you know, top 10 to 15 cards featured, you know, at X amount of dollars. And then the rest have to be below it. But I don't know. I'm not, you know, one of those gurus out there for it. But just my thoughts on to that. I don't know how many people are actually going to be using this offhand. I mean, the first month, 8.3%, I kind of got. If you hurry up and dump all your stuff really quickly. But 167 that's a lot of money um, for fees. Now, I, I, like I said, anything over $2,500, you are going to see lower fees. But we don't know what that actually is. Is it negotiated? You know, because of the rarity of the card? If I was the LeBron triple logo man, can I... You know, say, well, I have a choice to where I wanted to set it at between you, Heritage, PWCC, da da da. Lowest I got is 10. If you do it at 8, I'll give it to you. I don't know. I have no idea. But I want to talk about this real quick because I did get an email on to this because you do have the. I've been always hit up when my stuff goes into. I think it's from grading to QA2 about sending my stuff to the vault and I just don't do it. I want it shipped to me. Um. Just, it's it's a little pricey to me, and I just don't get how there's not a business out there that has the tech world, the fundage, the capital, to make something with lower fees. I mean, seriously, if you just charge 5% commission straight across the board on all transactions, I think you'd be fine. And then all you got to do is just like any other uh, website out there, take sponsorships for, you know, on your main page and stuff like that that appear your ad rep, uh, what do you call it, ad stuff that pops up and try to get your stuff paid that way on to it. But if you had bulk sales like eBay at 5%, a healthy company should sustain. Am I right or wrong, guys? I mean, guys and gals, I forgot. I do have a lot of women doing it. I, I got to correct myself now. But am I right or wrong out there? I mean, at 5%, you think you'd still make a buttload of money to where you're still paying your employees, still paying the processing, processors and all that other stuff out there. And, it, I mean, if you were sitting there doing, you know, a few million in sales per month, that, that's a good money. Very, very good money when you start talking 5% per month. I mean, granted, you might have to have a building and overhead. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think off it offhand. Is anybody doing this? Does anybody use already the golden auction or vaults? I have yet to ever do anything like that. I can sign mine as DC Sports for eBay just because I hate dealing with eBay a lot on the stuff. Um, but yeah, curious, curious. I mean, anybody else using any of these other services out there? PWCC Marketplace to Heritage. Oh gosh, I can't remember them all. There's a couple other ones out there too. So if I, I missed uh, naming them, it's just because I'm going blank right now. All right, guys. Other than that, that's your hobby news for today. Stream out.